Hi, writers. Did you know writers can edit for all kinds of things? Yes, they can. Now, the other day I was working in my garage. I haven't been there too much since I moved here, but I thought I should go and take a look and to see if I needed to do more work to organize that space. And look at my picture there. Isn't it awful? Guess what I found? A mess. I had boxes to still unpack, hoses to untangle, and tools to put in their place. Can you imagine me just leaving it? Well, boys and girls, your writing works the same way. You can check it. Today, I want to teach you that writers can do the same thing. Writers can go back in their writing and make changes. Sometimes we'll use this editing checklist right here. So writers can edit for your punctuation, your commas, your apostrophes, your capital letters. You can see if you left out words, word wall words, spelling patterns, and sometimes writers, they cross off the whole thing and start over. Now, Alias has, has written a Lego story. And I wanna know, did she squeeze her brain? Does she have a snappy beginning? What about her ending? Was it catchy? Let's find out. Legos. What do you think about her cover? Could she have done more? Here's her table of contents. Boy Legos, girl Legos, bye bye Legos. Boy Legos. Today you are going to learn about Legos. First you're going to learn all the boy Legos. There are Ninjago sets, Lego movie sets, but those are just a couple. There are way more that I am not going to name. It would take more pages. What do you think? Did it have a snappy ending? Do you like her fun fact? Did she write enough sentences? What details would you add? Let's look at this one with the girl Legos. Now for the girl Legos, there are a lot of girl Legos. I am only going to name a couple. First is Lego Friends, and there are some new Shopkin ones too. Huh, would you add more to that? Would you change anything? Okay, that is my book about Legos. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Hey, was that a catchy ending? Can you help her make it better? Huh, get out your most favorite colorful pen now, and you're going to use your pen to edit your writing. So you want to pick a color, and you want to really add more, change it, squeeze in words, put in your punctuation marks. Let's do all those cool, wonderful things. And that would be awesome. Monster so Mac we are going to do that after we watch the video. Does it start with the capital letter? Are there spaces between the words? Does it tell the whole idea to everyone? Is there a question mark, exclamation point, or period at the end? Well, if these four things are true, then no sentence is done. Does it start with the capital letter? Are there spaces between the words? Does it tell the whole idea to everyone? Is there a question mark, exclamation point, or period at the end? But if these four things are true, then your sentence is down. It's a question mark if you need an answer to who, what, where, where, why. Uh -huh. Exclamation point if you're excited or mad. Anything that needs explaining is a period if you're just saying. Does it start with a capital letter? Are there spaces between the words? Does it tell the whole idea to everyone? Is there a question mark, exclamation point, or period at the end? But if these four things are true, then your sentence is done. Yes, your sentence is done.